Ian. Welcome. How is everybody? Hope you're enjoying this lovely heat in the UK. <laughs> so anyway, welcome. It's Friday. It's fun time. Bit of fun. Um, bit of a change of plan. I was going to finish or do go for a bit. So I was going to refinish ready for a craft fair uh, on the 7th of August. But I've changed my mind. I've been bullied into doing something different. No, not really. I'm joking. Uh, yeah, I have really. So... In there, I have help for me. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. So, Brian from Hartwood Turning and Joe from Yorkshire Grit. Thank you very much, guys, for coming over and joining me. Um, so, what we're going to do is... Uh, You're is welcome. I had a resin blank I cast uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was going to do an egg out of it, but I'm going to do a box instead. So, a resin box um, with a little wooden lid on the top of it, basically just because Brian wants me to see my messy mess up my workshop. That's what it's about. So... Um, Hi, Mark. So, yes, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Correct. So, um, this is the cast that I did very similar to the egg I gave to Joe. So, in the cast, there is uh, silver, gold, and copper, well, rose gold, they call it a little more like copper, uh, leaf in a clear resin. So, hopefully, there should be no air bubbles in it, and hopefully, that'll be okay. So, I'm going to get over there and put my smock on and sweat even more than I am at the moment. And these got one of these guys is going to welcome you all in. I'll leave it up to you two to fight out who's going to do it. No, no, that'll be Joe. Spain, Spain. Yeah, that'll be me. That'll yep, be. That'll be you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. So this evening we have uh, Wood Wizardry by Colin, Brian Eltonero de Madeira. Oh, she can't Bruce wait to say Watts. that word. She can't wait to I'll say love that. It. It's Brian with a Y, for goodness sake. Look, I'm saying it so I can do what Get I it. like. Get a grip, woman. Come on. Barry Chitty, Scott Dunn, AGK Woodworks, door 60. We have Wavy Woodshed, Malcolm Douglas. Barry's Wood Creations, Ward Wilson. You're watching, so I, in case I miss somebody, aren't you? Of course. Todd That's... Glencoe Woodworks. Is that too close or is that all right? No, it's fine, Steve. It's good. Uh, Wedge Woodworks. Hi. Hi, Chase. Fred Gilliver. Evening, Chase. Got John Scarborough. Stephen Gordon. Alan Petrie. Ruben Woodcraft. I think that's a new woodwork. Uh, Ruben? Me. No, no, Ruben's uh, been away for a long time, yep. Okay. He's calling you old, Ruben. Chopped oh, I just said he's been around for a while. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Finley Wood turning at home. Hi, Paul. We have I Want to Make Stuff, I Aston. Douglas Mungham. Keep on going. Copper Our Wood turning. Graham Brown. To Bob, Terry Cox, hello from Indiana. That's a new one for me. Robert yep. Buchanan, and I think that's the bottom of the list that I've got. I know. It always is is Graham Brown not a new name as well? Um, I have a feeling that I think we might have. Oh no, that might be Billy Brown. Yes, it could be. It could be. Well, he's been a member of YouTube since 6th of April 2021. But I'm having a quick No videos or anything, so it's just a watcher. Hi, Graham. Welcome along. Now, well, Chase has just mentioned, welcome. I hope he wasn't too late submitting his goblet photos last night about 9pm his time. No, you're fine. You're fine. So, so tonight, uh, isn't off, it? Tonight. Yeah. We've got off tonight, buddy. Friday evening. Yeah, plenty of time, mate. Okay. No Watch drama. Matthew right, so as you can see, evening, so as you can oh, see, there is right, um, gold, silver, and copper. Well, I Lovely. call it copper, but they call it rose gold. Um, you buy them in a tub. They're all little bits. There's a bit I left. Some of the bits are quite chunky, but I left some of the bits quite chunky just for a bit of a different effect rather than having all little tiny bits in them. The only thing when you're casting it, because it all tries to float to the top, so you've got to keep stirring it virtually until it starts to cure. Um, so you keep it all within the the resin because as this, as the resin's heating, that obviously cur 
causes thermal lift so all the pieces are trying to push to the top but um hopefully we're not got any major big air pockets in it so because i was going to turn this into an egg obviously that was the bottom that was going to be the top i already put a tenon on that end or a spigot on the end so now i've just put one on there and we'll just flip it round. And shop dog said, "No, you didn't. didn't. You didn't, Miss Shop dog. You, she definitely said you were in." Because then said, shop "Hello, dog. Mark." You did. Did you get uh, Donna? Um, no. Donna Where is she, Donna? Hi, yeah. right, Donna's there. Hi, Donna. Just come in. Hi, Donna. Uh, yeah, Donna. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Callum Peter says he's not able to keep up with all the names on his phone. That's okay, Callum. You're grand. All right, so I'm going to use a three-eight bowl gouge to just just shape this. It looks lovely already. Oh, we'll leave it like that, shall we? Just hollow the middle out. No, you won't. Need to get out of things. I've already gave you a shape to work to. Joe said I could. Joe said it looked nice. No, I don't really care. Just get on with it. You've already had the shape you need to work to. You want me to do a drawing? No, I've seen your drawings. <laughs> oh, God, no. no more drawings, please. You do realise I'm going to spend all weekend clearing this up, don't you? Yeah, that's good. That's OK. Aww. I'll take you along. You, you'll have it cleaned up half an hour after we're finished. Feel I know it. you. You just take your time. We have 48 people watching. Oh, good evening, been everybody. going for about seven minutes, so that's pretty good. Well, welcome everybody. Hope there's only saying. 16 thumbs up, so I don't know why there's only 16 thumbs up. Oh, 17. Now I've just pressed mine. <laughs> oh, dear. My dog just might be in. 18 now because I've just pressed mine. You've just pressed yours now, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the support, guys. That's okay, anytime. <laughs> You're welcome, Steve. Friends that got Sunni's enemies. That's all I can say. So how long did this take to cure then? Well, by the time you put all your bits in and, and it starts going off, the reason how I, long do you have to leave it? The reason I've got, you get 40 minutes, to, well, 45 minutes to play with it before it starts to cure. So if I'm oh, doing something like this, I won't, I won't, I won't put the, put the bits in until about 25 minutes have been mixed. Ah. Um, so I'll, I'll get that ready, then put the bits in, then keep stirring it every two or three minutes until I use a, a timer. So once the timer gets to about 40, 40, 43, 44 minutes, I know it's then getting starting to go. And you check the temperature on it, that'll get up to about 85, 90 degrees in temperature. So you know it's going to be going off soon because yeah. it gets to about 125 when it's actually curing. So then keep stirring it. But once you start to feel it going stodgy, um, you feel a little bit resistant on the stirring stick, then... If you keep trying to stir it, you're going to get lots of air in it because it's not going to stir. Probably it's just going to break up. Ah. So it's just that fine line. But if you're doing colours, then then um, you've got to try and pull your colours together at the right time so they don't all mix together. Um, yeah. This is one I did. Sounds very technical. Well, it's not. This is one I did the other night, which is similar to the one I gave Brian. Oh, so, um, that. mm -hmm. so, so that's um, Isn't it? scarlet and gold, that is. So... That's beautiful, beautiful And then I've got so another John one. John McDonald's in. And, got another and one there. Susie, the Swiss wood tongue. Good evening. Good evening, both of you. But I tried something I never tried before. I tried stars. Okay. Okay. Oh. So, so we'll see how they come out. Yeah. Yeah, well, just like a little pack of some stars you get from, uh, from the range. That's it. Exactly that. I bet you're the biggest customer. No, Brian's the biggest. I'm the second biggest. No, no. I only go once because uh, it's 45 minutes away. I only go every now and again. Can't afford the petrol, you know, poor me. Hang on. I can hear it coming. Oh, no, the violins are stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Paul Kavanagh. Oh, Paul Kavanagh. Hi, Paul. Hi, How Paul. you doing, buddy? I'm just hoping my internet holds up long enough. But Joe's here if it if it doesn't. I am. Mark, shop dog's in, isn't he? Yes. He is. Oh sugar. Um, Mark, if you're listening, have you still got your discount code for um 
your resin you, you, you use. Just that someone at my club was asking about resins and I told them that you had a code if you still got it available. He's still got his uh, spanner so he can pop it in the chat if he has. And if, yes, he can, he and if he can message me the code and I'll send it through to the guy from the club. Steve Hill's in. Hi, Steve. Good evening, uh, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve Hill. Good evening, Steve. And Callum Petrie says, are you turning a pot noodle, Steve? Pot noodle. It looked like it, doesn't it? The worst thing is when you go in this way, that, that everything gets drawn to the chuck. Once you go the other way, it won't be too bad. Sticks on it. So the good thing about epoxy resin is you can turn it nicely with a, a traditional tool. So uh, okay. Mark's, Mark's code is SD-Vista. Okay. SD-Vista. Let me just write that down quickly. SD-Vista. SD-Vista. Vista. Jennifer Crafting Creations has joined us. Good oh, evening, good Jennifer. Good evening, Jennifer, my friend. How are you today? Hi, right, Jennifer. And, how are you? And Trevor P. Hobby Turner as well. And Hi, Trevor. Trevor as well. Good evening, Hi, Trevor. Trevor. So we'll open the flute with that a little bit. Hopefully shoot that over there. So if anybody can hear any music, I apologise, but my youngest daughter's got a party going in the garden at the moment. Mm. Can't hear anything. That's good. Uh, obviously, obviously not got enough drink yet. Well, Is it a celebration? Here, no, a sister had one last celebration. weekend. A sister had one last weekend. I was supposed to have one together. That was what they arranged when we went away with the mother and father-in-law. And then um, Kingston had their festival on last weekend. And they had... Um, um, Heather Small and Will Will Young on, so she wanted to go see that instead. Right. So she decided she'd have a party yeah. this week instead. David yeah. Holden has joined us. Good Hi, evening, David. David. And Ben Jammins joined us as well. Hi, ben. Oh no, Ben's not in, is he? Oh, but what's happening, now. old people? Oh, I mean, come on, Ben. That's not very nice, is it? I is, can't is help. David I can't Holden help. And, and, uh, um, is, is David holding a name we know, guys, is it? No. I can't I don't not, think so. I don't recognise the name. I think David's quite new. I've just looked at his channel. He's not new. He's got 200 main subscribers. But I think he might be new to us. Oh, welcome. Yep. Welcome along, David. And uh, I'll just subscribe Doug to Miller's your channel. Doug Miller's joined buddy. us as well. All right, Doug. Hi, Doug. David's got some, some real nice balls and things on his... On his uh, YouTube channel. Really? Yeah, it's got some lovely stuff. So I'll do what I usually do. People who are new, uh, we will just pop his link. Now, David actually is saying he needs help. He says he's struggling to find motivation to get back into his workshop and turn something. Uh, oh, he right, did a David. video about me a couple of years ago. You've just missed our hashtag challenge. That's what you need to motivate you. Yep, we yep. do a hashtag uh, challenge uh, once a month, basically. Usually the first Sunday of the month. And we set some sort of, that's uh, not a challenge as much, we set some sort of piece that people can turn. Usually something fairly cost-effective, so you can use any kind of timber for it. Um, just to motivate people to get out in their sheds and turn something. Uh, we have, I have a problem sometimes when I when I go to the shed. I think I'm gonna go turn, <laughs> and you can't stand stand and look at the lift for half an hour, and then maybe tidy up and then go back in the house. But uh, if there's a a little challenge thing going on, a bit like a, a monthly club challenge, if you like. But there's no prize; it's just for fun. This month was a. Go on. Uh, Douglas is asking Steve, have you ever chopped up paper money in resin? That would be Monopoly money, won't it? It won't be real money. 
No, I haven't. Sounds like a good. I've got an old Monopoly game. Right, shall I shall take the kids. <laughs> no. Yeah, Thanks. steal the kids' money. <laughs> Just take the kids' money. Yeah, I got more than I got. <laughs> yeah. Barry Chitty says yeah. he's just tested positive for COVID. Oh, no, Barry. Oh, Barry. What we can. Goodness sake. Well, I hope you're okay, Barry. And it doesn't hit you too hard. And Jennifer's just said, I'm fine, Brian. How are you? I'm absolutely fabulous, Jennifer. Life is good. Apart from the yeah. internet. <laughs> I've got an engineer coming tomorrow. Yay. Another Again. one. Third Saturday in a row. Is yeah. that a, um, is that a, just a Saturday thing you have going on? Just to get BT round or? Yeah. Do you have some cuts of tea? Yeah. And David. David it? Holden just says, uh, well, thank you everyone. I didn't come here for subs. Well, we, that doesn't matter because we just like to promote the community. Basically, David. Uh, try and share the love a bit. Uh, but I really, I really appreciate it. And hopefully this will give me a kick in the bum I need it. Yeah. Good man, David. We You're will welcome to our channels any time, buddy. We'll get you motivated. Yeah. Hodgepod Woodworks is in. Hi, Robert. And Michelle, who's busy in? Good Hi, Michelle. Hi, Robert. Hi, Michelle. You? Uh, Ruben says, I have the opposite problem, Brian. I have thousands of ideas and too little time. Well, Ruben, see, the ideas are the problem. For most people, the idea is the problem. If you've got lots of ideas, Ruben, share the love, buddy. Now, Douglas is saying... Steve, is your address on FB? I will send some. There you go. Um, my address is not on Facebook, I don't believe, is it? I don't think so. No, but if you message me, I'll send it to you. Yeah, uh, send a private message to Steve and uh, he'll send you his address. He sent it to me anyway, so... It's such a silly boy, yeah, I keep getting boxes of shavings now. Yeah, well, I'll stop. That's right. Off. Did you get your latest box? Your no, care package? Not, not yet, mate. No, not oh, you yet. haven't got it care yet. Pack no. Care oh. package. <laughs> I, I, sent, I had to send them a care package. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to send you one of these pen blanks I've made. Uh, David Holden says, You're a good bunch. I lurk in the background during your quiz nights. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe dangerous. That's maybe not the best place to get yeah, to that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> That don't really give us in the best light, does it? <laughs> yeah, not usually. <laughs> Some not. of us now. Especially you. Hey. <laughs> so I'm going to well, send this. Slow. So I'm going to send this to you, Brian. What? This pen blank. Oh, look at that. Oh. See what justice you can more, do. More, more rendered on. Yeah, but that's resin okay, and plastic. That really mess you up. That one. Oh, I know. <laughs> Turning plastic. Ah. Doug what? Miller says, I'm looking forward to the goblet video Sunday. The goblets I've seen are gorgeous. Yes, they are, aren't we, they? We were just saying that before we come live, funny enough. They were. Steve has got a large entry this time. There is, and there's lots of new, there's quite a few new people as well, which is really, really nice to see. It's nice to see that That's new... It's really encouraging. No, nice to see that people are... Sort of watching, not people that have been in the lives, but people who have been watching the videos and want to take part. I really, I really like that idea. People from Twisted Trees is in, he says, Look at that mess, Brian. <laughs> looking, Pete. That's the his... good thing is, it's not in my shop. He's the one who suggested it, Pete. I bet that, I bet those twists get into the real. Places that you do at once, like down your chow chow's belt. Or like sand. Yeah. <laughs> when does my uh, Facebook or YouTube keep lagging behind? I don't know, Joe. It's just done it again. It's it stopped. Well, mine just, just stops playing for some reason. Have you said a lot to Pete, Twisted Trees? I was just dead a minute ago. Were you not listening? As usual. Yeah, nah. <clears throat> he just came in. Ah, yes. He said, yes. He said look at that mess. Yeah, I've not connected it. I'm not wired up. Remember. You didn't connect I'm connect a full four-pack without the plastic holding me together. That's what Ben oh, says. Okay. Oh, uh, six bike with no plastic. Yeah. <laughs> so just got a little bit of this. Oh. Last, yeah. <clears throat> 
Chase actually uh, shoveled up his shavings yesterday. Not before time. <laughs> ah, you, should a, you should be keeping a tidy workshop. Um, Douglas is saying it's real defunct money. All right. Real defunct. Roy the boy is in. Hi, Roy. Evening, Roy. A real defunct honey. Where did you see that? Oh, it was a bit further up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't quite catch it, and then obviously Douglas pointed me kind of in the direction to look. Oh, did he? You got 69 people watching you, Steve. Oh, wow. Thank you, everybody, for coming over. <laughs> Watch me make a mess. Hey, Michelle and I had a debate about that the other day, Aston, about whose car it was. What was apparently the answer? It's Michelle. Apparently it's Michelle's car. <laughs> yes, hello, well, Nick. Are you still well, objecting to that then, Brian? I thought, well, I kind of think it's uh, our car, but Michelle thinks it's hers. So. Nick, oh. thinks, Nick thinks the same, mate. Until it wants fuel in it or um, needs repair in oh. that's her car. <laughs> so, sorry, Pete. Did just come on, Brian says, I was in 200 messages ago, but your internet was lagging. Well, it's funny oh, that Joe wish. didn't see you either. You sneaked in, that's what you did. Yeah, sneaking. She said he keep, he keeps a clean workshop. He gets a weekly cleaning. Right, so that's our... Just think of all that fire hazard line about. That's our shape. Mm. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to... That's the shape I'm going for, yep. Okay. Oh, I've, got, I've got like snow boots on here. That's the uh, shape that you um, should, Steve. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Ish. What, and what about the texturing on it? I don't need no texture, mate. The resin, the pretty colours oh, on the side will overpower it. I see, okay. It's not a boring what old bit of wood, it's a nice bit of resin. <laughs> what are you making, Steve? Roy's asking. I'm going to try I'm going to try and make a resin pot with a wooden lid, mate. That's what I'm going to try and make. If it don't work, it's Brian's fault. Very interesting. It's a box um, with a lid. Now, Michelle's confirming... It's her car. <sighs> I'm done arguing. Brian is um, stunned into silence there. Did, did you know that only uh, you can only have an argument if two people argue? It's actually a bit like training a horse. If you don't give yeah. the horse something to brace on, it won't brace. Okay. Yeah, but some of us can't keep our gobs shut, so, you know, you end up well, with an argument. We know, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Yorkshire trait, apparently. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit harsh, Brian. <laughs> fuming, fuming. <gasps> Look at those shavings. Joe's, Joe's boiling, yeah. No, it only takes two of you to argue once. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here comes trouble. She <laughs> just burst into the office. <laughs> Door flew open. Yeah, get your go own and lie down. next time. <laughs> go and lie down, woman. Go, go, out. Shoot. Now, Chase is asking, Steve, have you ever saved your resin shavings and recast them for another project? Yes, I have. I will show you one in a minute that I did. So I was going to then ask you, how work? successful was it? Just give me a second. I wonder how thin you could go on that box. Joe hey. Scarborough is asking. I wonder how thin Joe you wants could to go. know how thin you could go. We'll find out, won't we? Don't want to go too yep. thin, do we? Because we're going to we've got yeah. to put a recess on no, it for the lid. Think so. uh, uh, Chris yeah. and Billy's woodworks is in. Good evening, Chris. Uh, Good evening, that? Chris. And a question. Yeah, I just I just read a question. I was saying, John Scarborough yeah. says, "Does the epoxy resin need a pressure pot, Steve?" These weren't put in pressure pot. Um, the only time I really put them in pressure pot is if I'm putting wood in them, so it can force out the air. Um, but normally for something like this, I don't put it in a pressure pot. So there's one that I put. Can you see the shavings inside it? Oh, but, oh. oh yeah. so you just use different color shavings? No, no. The colors are the the, the shavings are just 
like this sort of colour. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I put a yellow, then just poured a little bit of orange on the top of it. Oh, OK. Got you. So what that'll come I out. I do like, like the warmer colours. But you can see you can see just the little shavings in there. Yeah, yeah like you can worms. Oh yeah, you can, yeah. They're like little worms. Little worms. I'm not keen on worms myself, but Colin uh... from Wood Wizardry says I've just got some Vista resin. Uh, Vista resin one. It seems to be uh, very easy to use. I think you try to say that. Never tried Vista. Well, I need easy. So how deep how deep was that pour then, Steve? How, what sort of depth is that? Um, you see your these pours are in. I use mixing pots, so two different types of mixing pot. Let me just get one and I'll show you. And I've filled these to the brim and not had any problem with casting, with thermal problems. So if I can get one apart. Oh yeah. god! One of them is a liter tub, so a thousand. Obviously, a 1,000 millilitres, if we can get it off. And the other one is 600, 600 grams, or 600 mil. Um, this one was a 600 mil, the one I'm doing now, which is the normal size I use for doing my eggs. So, that's the one litre. Okay. And, that's, okay. and, and that's the one that was cast with this, which is the one I use for the eggs. Uh, six that takes six six hundred grams come to that lip there. Okay. And I've I don't put those in a pressure pot. Um. And Cause that's my biggest thing. I don't really want to go to the expense of buying a pressure pot and stuff. No, I've only really found that if you want to. Saying that, even my pen blanks. This pen blank, I I. Where is it? It's disappeared. This pen blank. I cast these the other day. But they weren't even put in a pressure pot either. So as long as the and there's the, no no air bubbles. No, as long as the as long as you seal your wood, I see always seal my wood with um, CA. No, I don't sand and sealer first. So as long okay. as you as long as your wood sand uh, sealed, so the air can't escape, then I don't get any problems. All right. Now, Roy sure. said he used two of those pen blanks, Steve. Very stringy, but turned out very good, and they're on the way to Leeds. Yeah, they are. That's the intro with epoxy resin. They, like you can see here, I mean, you can get all the ribbons from it. But um, that is what it is, unfortunately. Yep. Cheers says he loves the fact that you're repurposing. Yeah, I um, yeah, try. I never throw any resin try away. And, try and neutralise the waste. Mm. If we can. All my excess resin I have left, I pour into pots, and then I either turn them into uh, eggs or whatever. Are eggs popular? Yeah, I yeah. have. I have I at least two a week. It. I would imagine. Oh, you're funny, Steve. I will be honest, I've sold quite a few eggs, to be honest. People yeah. seem, seem to people seem to like them. Yep, right, the boy says, I'm very happy with them, Steve. Thank you so much. Yes, well, it's a pleasure. I'm, I was just worried that you wanted red, and I didn't know whether you could get a good... It's hard to get a good red, isn't it? A good solid red. I've sent you some red, Steve, so you'll be able to try it. Good man. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what's the matter now? Joe has just taken possession of, of a large bottle of Jack Daniels. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there may be singing ahead. The myth. Good <laughs> by Colin says Deb had two boiled this evening. I can't hmm. remember the last time I had an egg. To eat, I mean. Oh, to eat? Okay. 
I can't we eat eggs all the time. I had two eggs yesterday with a salad. Mm. We eat lots of salad at this time of year. Mind you, I had two large Wagyu burgers this evening from my tea. Okay. Rag, ragu burgers. Oh, yeah. Wagyu. Wagyu, wagyu burgers. Wagyu. Fancy Japanese beef. All right. But they're really tasty. Not just tasty. Really tasty. Really tasty. I'm going to get something a bit bigger down there because I get a bit more. Now, see, Douglas has started this uh, brown or white eggs. Most eggs in this country are brown. Most eggs in America are white. Why? I have no idea. Just it depends on the chicken. You can have chicken. There are chickens that lay black eggs. Now, Andrew's asking, yeah. is that a negative Ray Holloway? No. No, I'll just... That's just the ordinary Simon Hope one, is it? Yeah, it's just a normal Simon Hope cutter. Six six mil cutter. Like that. Just a, like that, yeah. the cutter, not a oh, negative that's, rate. That's an eight mil one, is it? Yeah, this is the eight mil one. I'll just, I'll just use the six mil. Now, Chase has said, Steve, I found some mini dragons that have been tossing around with the idea of dragon eggs with the inside. Yeah. Mm. All I'd say about that, if you're going to do it, is just give them a slight coat of resin before you cast them, because sometimes with the heat of the resin, the colours will go. Okay. Yeah, didn't you have a problem with a Christmas tree yep. or something, didn't you? Yep. They, they, they turned the leaves brown. They like dead Christmas looked trees. like a Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, it looked like a Christmas tree in February. <laughs> ben Jammer says his cockatiel lays, lays eggs. They're not very nice, though. Thank you. <laughs> what is this you've got now? Is this grapes? Cherries. Yeah, cheese, cherries and Jack Daniels. That's still going to be a nice combination, Joe. John Scarborough is asking this question, uh, Steve. So, when would you use your six mil over an eight mil hollower? Well, well, the reason I went to eight mil is because I want to go down the bottom, and that's got a thicker shaft on it, and I can put it in a long handle where the the six mil one's only on a. I know you can put this in a... I think you can put this in a tool, can't you? No, I don't know if you can, actually. Um, the the 6 mil one is a square shaft, but it's only, what, 12 inches long? 14 inches long? Something like that. Where my 8 mil yep. one is... Um, I can get it in a long handle, so it gives me more handle over the tool. So I'm not... I, I can't oh. remember. The, what's the rule of thumb? Oh. For every inch over, three inches back? Yeah, inch over, four inches behind. No, four go. inches behind. Four inches behind, so. It's a good rule of thumb. It doesn't have to work right. uh, DJ Brinkley says, question, question, question for everyone. Uh, if you had to pick one wood turning gouge, I think she means, uh, what would it be? Me, personally, it would be a three years bull gouge. Yeah, I think I'd be the same. If I could only ever if I could only ever have one, it would be a three years bull gouge. Is that the one that you, you use do, the most? You can do a whole lot with it because it's not too big, it's not too small, but it can be used for fine stuff. And the good thing with a bowl gouge is you can use it on spindle work as well, so Yeah, indeed, yeah. So my first my first purchase if I was to start again would be a three years bull gouge. Aston said here his is a half inch bull gauge. I have a half inch as well, but sometimes you find it's a bit heavy for, for smaller stuff. 
Oh, Heather is in from Spirit Wind, Wood, Stone and Bone. Hi, she says hi. And good evening to DJ as well. Hi, good evening to DJ as well, yeah. Indeed. Trevor P, the Hobby Turner, says a 3 is bogey edge. Mm. Oh, really? uh, Douglas said a 5 8 is bogey edge. Uh, uh, 5 8 um, uh, in America is equivalent to a half inch. This is where you have to get, you have to watch DJ. Because a 5 8 bow gauge is the same as a half inch bow gauge in the UK. The Yorkshire gets in. Good evening, uh, Benja. Good ben, good. Even uh, Glenn. Benjamin says three eighths is the Goldilocks. It's the just right. Just right. Just right. Super smashing great. Not too big, not too small, just right. And Glenn saying, and an SK114, Brian. And a partridge in a pear tree. I heard it's overrated. Yeah, I've heard it's overrated too. <laughs> apparently, I've, I've apparently, also heard that it's overpriced. Apparently, people only have them to make them think that they're better turners than what they actually are. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, that's not an SK114 on Steve's uh, machine. That's an SC4. And it does exactly the same job. Yeah, it does. The only the only difference is it's made in China. Oh. Whereas the where the Ice Master ones are made in the UK. And it doesn't have a Donald Joe's. I quite like that idea of the, the step down of Donald Joe's. Quite like that idea. But anyway. Uh, David Holden says he loves his half inch crown tools. M42 razor edge, side of grind, uh, bull gouge. All right, put a little uh, step Ruben in there. Says he uses, Ruben says he uses an 18 mil bull gouge a lot, which is three quarters of an inch, yeah. Well, 19 mils three quarters of an inch, so 18 is pretty close. So I have a 10 mil bull gouge and a half a 3 8 bull gouge. 3 8s, uh, 3 8s is how many? Can't remember. Now Barry Chitty is saying, Steve, it doesn't work. What doesn't, what work? doesn't work? Not sure. Or is he meaning one of the Steves in the chat? I don't know. Trevor P says his tool is backed up with a common rescue. I haven't got one of those either yet. We've got a perfectly good inch and a quarter skew and a small one inch oval skew. One's from Robert Sorby and the other one's from um, Record Power. And they're as good as anything. Good high speed steel, sharpens easily, or straight. The gentleman would turn us in. Hi, Mark. 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 So Rubens Woodcraft says, I had a six mil spindle gouge for, for one turning and bent it. Yeah. They yeah, are a bit fragile. Ready for delicate now, really. Right. It so, be, yeah. but they're, they're only designed for small stuff. So I think we need to polish this up, really, before we go much further. Just, um, <gasps> ah, Barry Chitty saying SK114 makes you a better turner is what he's saying. Oh, right. It doesn't yeah, work. So it does. I'm presuming. So, so, so it does, Barry. I agree. It makes you a better turner. If that's what you believe, that's what you believe. That's all good. Yeah, it doesn't work. I think Barry must have one and he's maybe thinking it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just surmising here. I are you trying? Wrong. Are you reading between the lines now? Yeah, that's what women do. Not very successfully either. Right, so let's get this sanded up. Oh. Ben Jalman says, uh, "Once you go to a square drive, you won't go back." Oh, I see. Yeah, that is an issue with record power uh, chucks. I have to say, I, I have three. Different sizes of chuck and three different sizes of key. 
which is a, a mild pain in the rear end, I have to say. Right. And Robert from Hodgepodge is in, he says, it just makes you look like a better turner because of the sexiness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if a chug could be at all sexy, yeah. I think you need to get out a bit more. Harry's Robert. saying I'm right, Joe. <laughs> you, you, you need to get out more. You've been you've been in Harry's company too much. Barry Chit is saying you were you're right, Joe. Yes. Joe's right. Sorry, what was Joe right about? What were you right about something, well, Joe? What was what that? I've just said. What I've just said. Take notice, Barry. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Sake. He didn't. You. <sighs> too easy. Yeah, ben Jarman says, my SK114 brings all the ladies to the yard. <laughs> yeah, we need video evidence of that, Ben, I'm afraid. <coughs> oh, dear. So what are you going to send this up to, Steve? 600 grit. 600 grit. And then your sugar grit. And then you also got original and microphone. Oh, oh God. I, I'm, I'm going to let you read out Mark's comment because I'm not reading that out. My <laughs> sexiness couldn't be expressed by just one SK114. That's why I have three. Uh, he's, oh he's obviously he's, he, now, 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 Joe, in his defence, and his defence now, he's obviously at Kim's, and his listeners are what Kim's telling them, you know. I think the only reason he's got three is because he's compensating for something. Ooh. 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 I didn't say that. Me neither. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> Jennifer of Crafts and Creation says, I don't get what the difference uh, is between chucks, to be Nothing, honest. Nothing, Jennifer. But then again, I don't do much turning. I do resin casting. We know, we know. At the end of the day, Jennifer, as long as they hold your boom and wheel wood and they're square, doesn't really matter what make it is. Yeah. And uh, Jennifer finished up with saying, and if I do need them turned, Mark does it. Good man, Mark. That's Mark Strong yeah. she's talking about. Chase just remarked, savage, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can't get that out there now. <laughs> you know, oh dear. And why we would shed. Andrew, this could be embarrassing. The inability to combine black and yellow, Steve. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're going back to that. No, let's not go there again. Or we'll get upset. I would say Carl, Carl, uh, Carl does use an easy wood chuck. So does Jimmy now, I see. I quite I'm like the it. idea of the easy wood chuck, I have to say. I like that. What uh, makes it easy? A uh, speed closing ring. It has a speed closing ring, so you just put your piece in, speed close the, as a ring, you just. Ah, right. And it closes, and then you finish tightening it with the key. So I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman wood turner just said that's it wavy no group shirt for you <laughs> well talking about the group shirt uh, pinned to the top of the chat there is the uh, link to Steve's um, Creator Springs t-shirt thing where you can purchase the Makers t-shirt for this year which is going towards our current charity which is Dementia UK Steve may have some information for you on that coming very, very soon. Oh, yes. It will be put on the Facebook page. If you're a member of the Maker Q no, Maker's Auction Facebook page, again, all the uh, information will be on there in the next few days, or oh, in a week or so. Yep. <sighs> He's done it again. I have to go and look up that page now. I like to keep you on your toes. 
Michael Roshan, is that a public group with 500, oh no, 590 members, that's the one. That's the very one. So if you're not a member of this group, why not? You are. Yeah, it's time you are. Get over there and get yourself sorted out. <laughs> we're going to be Please. doing, uh, this year, we're going to be Cheer. doing an awesome charity event for um, Dementia UK. <laughs> Um, so yeah, well worthy cause. Douglas Monk says, question, question, how about getting one? Uh, one what, Douglas? You know what, Brian? If you're referring to an SK114, I'm not getting one unless, unless Hexmaster in their, in their wisdom, give me one to try. I am not paying 300 quid for a chuck. I'm just not doing it. Fair enough. Uh, Scott, Scott Dunn saying, says, oh, oh, go ahead, Joe. Sorry. Uh, what go ahead. kind of sander is it? It's a hope sander, isn't it? Yep. Um, it's a hope inertial sander, yep. It is. I had a Robert Sorby one, but the bushes went in it um, after, a little, yep. after a year or so. So I thought I'd make the commitment. And to be honest, the hope one's only about £20 more than the. I, I think it's much better because the arbor is held in um, using a magnet and there are two bearings, so it's held correctly. Yep. And it keeps it straight and it doesn't wear out. And the good thing is with it, that you don't have to keep changing your, your sanding pad. You can just buy more arbors and just have them all set up That's for That's correct. Them. And strangely enough, uh, Chuck Buddies have a system for that. Have we launched that yet, Steve? Not yet. Waiting for your approval, Sanding mate. Arbor. All right, yeah, go for it. <laughs> it work, they work a treat. You need to send me some pictures of them. Okay, I will do that. Since you've only, you're the only one with them. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> so uh, I have been trying them for some time. Um, I do have one modification for you. Oh dear. Slate. Yeah. Latalia De Leo yeah, yeah. is in. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Uh, you've over engineered it again. You, you may have over engineered it a little bit, but we'll talk about that later. What, a bit thick? Yeah. Yeah, but I like things to last. Yeah, I know. I know. When Steve makes something, guys, you can almost guarantee it's going to last a while. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the trouble is when you make you things for other stuff. people, when you make stuff for people all the time, they don't want to be changing every five minutes, do they? So you got to make it to last. So Ben Jarman's entered the, the uh, inertial standard debate. He says, personally, I think the Sorby one is more free spinning. Mm. Well, I'm not convinced about that, Ben, because it's it's just a it's um I'll just bushes. The material They're just brass it's bushes, aren't they? It's like a brass kind of bush. Um, it doesn't rotate. I don't think it rotates as freely as the the bearings and the uh, Simon Hope one. But everybody to their own. That's just my opinion. Uh, Norman Greenwell's in, or Norman Greenwell is in. Good evening, Hi, Norman. Norman. So Norman Greenwell and Greenwell's in, both of them. No, just Green, just Greenwell. Oh right, okay. All right, so just take that up to 400 because that was a little bit. I couldn't get the sander Six. in there. We have 61 people watching. Oh, wow. Thank you, everybody, for coming over. So, next week we have the one and only Mr. Martin Sabian Smith in as our special guest, Air One. Yeah, and I'm not here. Oh, well, you're not, Brian. Huh. Oh, oh, um, uh, well, if I, if I can get a good Wi Fi signal from down and uh, down at. Uh, where am I going? Ireland. Yeah. We're going to uh, Glen Lucas for a three-day course. If I can get a good Wi-Fi signal in the hotel, I'll try and get in. 
if I can. Right, so sand up the 400 grit. We don't That's need if to... you want me, of course. Of course. Um, so we don't need to sand and seal because there's no wood in it. So I only sand and seal resin if we've got wood in it. So now we're going to polish it. Going to use Yorkshire grit original if I've got enough left in my pot to finish this. Yeah, yeah that's in the, the that sander that Steve's using currently does have bearings in it. There's actually two small bearings in the head. That. Roller bearings, I think they are. Yeah, yeah type of roller bearings. Probably not roller bearings. All right, so spend a bit of time polishing this up. Uh, uh, well, Ben thinks the magnet uh, and the hope sign there's, uh, definitely adds a bit more resistance. Okay. Do you need grit, Steve? I do. And Roy the boy okay. says, question, question, Brian. You're doing a course. You're going on a course. I am indeed, sir. Yeah, just told that far, Brian. Right? Hands up, your pity can be soft as your face. <laughs> I've like tried, brown. boys. Yorkshire gritty. <laughs> tried, boys. I tried my best. I tried my best. <laughs> TJ, TJ Tumbling is in. Hey, Sorry. Terry. He's on his phone, so he won't be saying hello to everybody. Because he can't see it. No, he's a slow typer. <laughs> no, no, he's got great big fingers. <laughs> but like Pete, can't use a phone either. And so in answer to Roy the boy's question, he says, are you doing a course? Yes, I am. I'm doing an advanced wood turning course with Glenn Lucas. Myself, um, hopefully Terry and Pete and Glenn are all going on a, an advanced woodworking course. At a place, a tiny little place called Gary Hill in County Carlow, which is way down in the south of Ireland, down towards Waterford and Cork. Which should That's be interesting. At Joe, still waiting for the extra fine song. Yeah. Thank God for that. Yeah. Are you going to do anything on the interior of it? Yeah, I'm going to sand it in a minute. I'm going to sand it and get it and everything else. All right, so speed up a little bit. <laughs> Terry has just popped in here, he says, and the badge is going to teach Glenn. Ooh. Oh. This, this, this could be an interesting four days. Christine Mind you, Michael Terry's Vessel been turning Tannery. probably longer than Glenn has. Sony Glenn's been a production turner for all these days. Good That's evening, what he does for a living. Yeah. All day, every day. Who is that? Christine and Michael, yeah. Yes. Good evening, Christine and Michael. How are you doing, Christine Hope you're Michael. both well. All right, so that's Yorkshire Great Original. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cross band it. You're going to get angry? Cross sand it. Sand it. Yeah. Oh, Jeez. Okay. He's here all week, folks. Uh, Twice on a Friday. <laughs> hey, Callum Petrie says, that's the best looking pot needle I've seen. Thumbs up from me, Steve. Have Thank to you go. very much. Uh, have a good one, everyone. Catch you on the next one. Bye, See you Callum. Later, mate. Thanks for coming over. Take care, Take Callum. it easy, buddy. Ruth Cor is watching oh, Coronation, Street, Coronation Street and then she's going to bed. Nah, that's the best place for Ruth. Yeah. All right, Ruth's so. not too well, guys. Ruth's got COVID. So uh, let's send our best wishes to Ruth and hope she gets uh, recovers quickly. Yes, definitely. Hey, Roy, I just got shouted down in flames. Uh, what for? Steve, what about the inside? Sanding it and uh, written it, I presume. Well, oh. Does that mean I get to sing again? Yes, you do, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Unless you want me to sing, of course. You sing it, then. No. Why not? Because I'm... Um, no. My voice is not up to it. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my turn. I, I don't to. want to. I, I don't want to. I'm no doing it. Mm. 
as they say in Scotland. <laughs> you can't yeah. make me do it, and I'm no doing it. That was my best Edinburgh accent there. No. Best wishes to Ruth. People are saying get well soon. Yep. Yeah, definitely. She's a she's a good egg, is Ruth. She's I mean, got to be the put. Carry for a long say. time, yeah. She's got to be something special to put with Terry. Have you noticed? She's just retired and suddenly she comes down with COVID. Yeah, stranger. Yeah. Blame Terry. She worked all the worked all the way through. She's a nurse. No, she was a nurse. She just retired. She worked all the way through COVID. Didn't get it. Retired two weeks. Gets COVID. Yeah, there's something wrong there. Perhaps that was a leaving gift. It's <laughs> a leaving present. <laughs> That's what you get for leaving. Uh, ben Jarman says, which Glenn Lucas course are you guys taking? One for the guys or one for the amateurs? The advanced <laughs> course, <laughs> Mr. Jarman. Right, so let's move on to the microphone. <laughs> well, Have the rest of the guys are going to advance. Yeah. I'm doing the beginners one. Of course I did it. What was you missing around oh, that? <sighs> Saved you there, boys. Did you see that? So, microphone. Jennifer Scraps and Creation says. Not I think sorry, that Steve. looks lovely. Go on, then. Does. Jennifer Scraps and Creation says, don't forget the thumbs up, guys. It's free, and the comments are also free, and it makes Steve smile, and you also get reply. So, once the, once the live's over, and it comes back up on Facebook, or YouTube even, you can pop in and stick a, stick something in the comments, and it adds another dimension to the what do you call that thing? The algorithm. Algorithm for the uh, the analytics to look at. And I reply to everybody, absolutely everybody. I try and reply to everybody too, except for the um, the dirty comments you get. Yeah, the auto the auto the auto bots. Yeah. I have not done it tonight. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Knocking on something. They'll all come in now. 63 watching and 44 thumbs up. Douglas says, smash the like button. <laughs> Only if you like what you're seeing, guys. I mean, if you don't like it, don't 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 click it. If you don't like it, let us know why you don't like it. <laughs> all right. So that's Yorkshire got on the inside. Let's do the outside. I don't like this new tissue paper. It's too thin. Is it? Yeah. So TJ Tony just said, I will say hello to all of you. Hello, everybody. Uh, but there's far too many of you to type on this phone. You're quite right. 55 names would take you forever on the phone. Your challenge, should you choose to accept it? And he's got big fingers, too. If Ruben says I don't reply to bots, no. yeah, me neither. I just delete them. I oh, just report them, I do. Remove them from the channel. Yeah, that's what I do. Report them as spam. And uh, if you report them as spam, um, mm. YouTube automatically delete them. Steve. <laughs> Ruben's Woodcraft says, or maybe it's mostly on bigger channels. Well, if you were here, was it last Sunday or the Sunday before? We had a plethora of them. Yeah, we had loads on. We had loads on. them on the makers. Yeah, we had loads on Battle of the Makers. The makers. And then we had loads on the Sunday. Uh, Susie the Swiss Wood Turner says, yeah. Susie the Swiss Wood Turner says, why is Joe not singing for the microphone? We don't have a well, tune yet. we haven't got a, a... Strictly, we don't have a microphone <laughs> song to sing at the moment. We haven't wanna, adopted a song yet. If you want to write one, Susie. <laughs> and Sean Scarborough says, Shh! Don't tell Joe you're using your sugar again, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, she missed it. She wasn't paying attention. Matt's workshop. Hello, everybody. Good Hi, evening, Matt. Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you doing, mate? Oh, I've just broke my little pencil. Oh, dear. Oh. 
But it was silver, we silver nib thing in the end where the lead comes through. It just fell out. Yeah, I suppose so it could have. So you get for buying cheap pencils, Brian. I suppose I could sing the original song. Hands that feel pity no. can be soft as your face. White, 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 <laughs> white. Yorkshire gritty. With bright white, Yorkshire gritty. <laughs> there we go. No, we'll not, we'll not say bright white because that rhymes with... Not right. Else. Not right. David Alden's having to go now. It was lovely to speak speaking to you all, and thanks for your help. Take care, everybody. See you later, David. Bye for now. Bye, David. Thanks for coming along, mate. Got you there. So just angry sand it again. Yeah, Oops. I think it was. I think it was Hodgepodge that um, huh? wrote some lyrics. He did, yeah, he did. I, but I can't remember what he wrote. He says he did, but they didn't want to pay me enough to get the rights for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michelle's comment, been there, Heather. I'm trying to think what that comment was I'm refer referring to. I need to go back and see what Heather has been saying. Right. Michelle. Sorry. Are you used to having a conversation behind my back here? I don't know. Am I getting abused here? So I might buff this on the buffing wheel. Ooh, that's always a good plan. So I'm just going to give it a quick Heather's coat. saying there's Oops. a Kingston, Ontario. So Michelle's asking. Oh, I see. Yeah. This is so, so, yeah. Yeah. And then Michelle's saying, I've been there. About a four and a half hour drive, she says. Oh. What's the time, somebody, please? It is. It is nearly uh, ten to nine. Oh, okay. Just coming up to ten today, yeah. You play a time, Steve. Now, Ben's saying, for teeth that feel rough and lack the old shine, give them a brush with white microfine. <laughs> <laughs> and then guitar solo after that. <laughs> I, di I did, Heather. I missed the whole conversation now. I'm just not paying attention at all. Steve's fault. Always. I thought it was Mark's fault. Roy's asking... Uh, Roy the boys is asking, what's that you're using, Steve? This is just a real fine teacup. Just to try and... Because it's um, got metal in it. I'm just trying to buff them metal fragments. Them little metal... You can see the tarnishing on the metals coming out. So hopefully it's just going to buff that out a little bit. It's a teacup scratch repair thing. You get from... I bought mine from Halfers. You can buy tea cat anywhere, I suppose. Mm. It's very much like Basel, to be honest. Yeah. So, as you can see, because it's, it's um, little metal fragments, it's got a little bit of um, discoloration in there. So, what I'll do is I'll get the buff and wheel on and hopefully buff it all out when we're finished. You give us the overhead view, Steve. Oh, sorry. No, that one, that one. It's closer. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That's better. So we're going to part it off now. That's the actual bottom done. So I did start to part it off. I put a slight undercut on there, so it's, <laughs> so it's going to sit on the rim of the uh, the rim of the whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> I got to read this one. It's what Heather just said. That's okay, Brian. My husband is sleeping on the job too. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, wake Barry. him up, Heather. For goodness sake, wake him up. Hi, right, Barry. How are you doing, bud? Good evening, hey, Barry. Barry. Yeah, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I'm just going to put my. Confused. I get confused with the Barrys on the channels. 
Barry's the one who's Barry wood, wood, wood Creations is the one who lives near me. Yes. Woodton is the one who's just had the operation. Yes. <laughs> Todd says <laughs> that banjo looks like a snowstorm hit it. <laughs> it, it does a bit, yeah. You don't see, you don't see the floor. Right, so I hope you're not going to send Nick in to uh, tidy up ready for Sunday. Yeah, that's, no. that's not going to happen. No. Can you see her coming out here tidying up? Yeah, no. no, but I wonder, you know, I was wondering you if you tried it first. Oh, don't put that in there for. That's sand and pads left. I've got three things. Oh, I've got one monitor open with Skype on it. I've got another monitor open with YouTube on it. And I've got my iPad open with YouTube on it. And there are three different pictures. Is it? Yeah. Don't shout about everybody. Little, little little behind. They're, they're all a little bit behind each other. Sure, it's not your internet. Why have you got two YouTubes open? Because I, I type, I type in the chat. If I need to type in the chat, I type on my iPad. Because oh, I hate right, that okay. keyboard that I've got on my computer. You change up. It's not quite rough. Heather's enough. just got home for a week. Uh, Heather's just got home from a week camping. And um, now we need a vacation from our vacation. <laughs> camping. I don't, I don't fancy camping much, to be honest. We used to camp all the time. We, did it, for about like six, we did it for about six years, me, Nick, and the girls. Yeah, well, I mean, it, well, it, actually, I, we did we did, did a fair bit. We did glamping, I think, more than camping. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Camping. Um, my knowledge of camping involves ponchos and things. From the time when I was in the army, I did that, Ruben. It's uh, it's just not catching up. All right, so that's that one. Can we just take this up to four hundred? Just to clean up a little bit. You've a lot to make yet. Come on. Yeah, move on. All right. I've got a... Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm just going to remind you, this was your idea. I know. It's great. Nobody's complaining. There's 51 people watching. Oh, 60 on a minute ago. I must be boring them. <laughs> Sanding again, see? <laughs> Just call me uh, Nick. Harry says he's getting there slowly, Steve. Oh, oh I'm glad to hear it. So, so, so uh, hold on a minute. Heather's camping is not so much camping. They, oh. they have a cot. They have a. We actually have. It's actually a cottage that sleeps six couples. That's not. <laughs> That's camping. not camping. That's moving from one house to another. <laughs> I tried to get um, Glyn into camping, and I was met with limited success. <laughs> I did suggest it to Michelle once we could go camping. She says, I've done it once, not doing it again. Hated it. <laughs> uh, England, uh, Northern Ireland, not England too. Yeah, that's expected, Trevor. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. They, they, girl, they girls are part-time, you know, the Northern Ireland girls. They're not full-time football players at all. I thought they did really well just to qualify and get there. And if they can hold England to sort of four goals, I think they'll be doing really well. All right, so just getting a bit of microphone and rub on the bottom of that, just to shine up a little bit. Christine and Michael said there are 68 people, according to her telephone, and uh, Aston says there are 67. <laughs> My computer says there's 58. <laughs> See, and Brian's supposed, to, Brian's supposed to give me the encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was encouraging, Steve. Sure. Well, there's 59 now. Who's that? All right, so just a, just a little bit on the bottom there, just to buff that bottom part up. <laughs> yeah. Heather, Heather says she's getting too old to sleep on the ground. We used to have Yeah, me too. Yeah. See, that's not camping at all. No, we had, we had fridge, we had a heater, we had, an in, yeah, we had a toilet. Just doesn't that just doesn't camp on. We was glamping. That's that's pretending to be camping. It was good fun. You'd be telling me you'd be telling me next you went in the caravan. I had one of those, I gave it up. I See, went, there you go. See, we we go sat back. we sat there on a campsite one night thinking to ourselves, why are we gonna spend an hour and a half tomorrow putting this tent away, packing all the trailer back up to go home when we could have a caravan and just chuck it in there and go home in forty five minutes. So that's what we did. We went and bought a caravan. 
<laughs> so, well, right. yeah, I knew that would help. So, there's the, there's the base. So, we just got to make lovely. a roof right now. That is got... lovely. Lovely. The, the, Absolutely lovely. cracking, lovely. that is, son. It's lovely. Son, that's <laughs> cracking. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. cracking. <laughs> The wood dude has joined us. Good evening, Oh, Stephen. even Stephen. So I've got a um, bit Rose of... Rose the boy is asking, Steve, how is that Jacob's truck being held, uh, being held in? In, in, the, jaws. in? in the jaws. Just nipping up on the jaws. If you look on the Jacob truck, there is, there is a, there's a little ring around the inner edge. So if you put that in there, that'll just grab on the inner ring of the of the um, the uh, oh. jaws. As long as you don't over it, you're fine. Right, so I've got a bit of spot with beach, it looks like. A bit of spot with beach, it looks like. So... I think that'll be nice. So I just uh, got to put Donna a says, find a centre. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'll, sh I'll shut up. Good idea. <laughs> Love Angel says the last time she slept in a tent was in 1987. That wasn't yesterday. Yeah, well, she was at school when the Scripture Union was a part of the which was a part of the Church of Scotland. Excellent. All right, so just quickly. Michael put... McEwen right. has joined us. You can tell us what you're doing now, Steve. I'm just going to put a mortise in the bottom of this, just so I can grab it in a chuck. Cool. You're going to drill it with a fasten a bit. I am just like that. Just, just like that. <laughs> just yeah. like that. This is one I prepared earlier. Yeah, not like that. Just like that. Good evening, Michael. Good evening, Mr. Michael. Cooper. Right. So, hi, Michael. Let's get this to Hello. size, and then we can decide. What shape? I'm just going to have a drink that you drunk out of the wash, brush wash bottle then. Oh, don't do that. Um, Chase, um, he says, my G3 can't grab the taper on the Jacob's chop. He said, my taper's... <coughs> the taper on mine has a flat piece just behind the just behind the chuck itself that you can actually get the jaws to grip on so as it won't slide forward. Technically, to be to be correct, you should be using a through bolt to hold it in place. Um, which screws into the back of the chuck. Hotspot says he was three in 1987. And John Scarborough says, <laughs> I have to fly, I'll catch you all later. See you later, John. Three in 1987. Thanks for coming over, John. Got a in, in 1987. Says, he was born in 1987. Oh, and Aston says I wasn't born. Oh, could you just put some of them on timeout, will you? Yeah, I think Cheers. we'll just place them on timeout. Right. Two in 87. Cheers. In, in, in 1987, I was 34. You're not to be my mum, Joe. Nah. Well, maybe. Almost, yeah. Right. No. No. Oh, yeah, like, no. 71 no. mil. 70. Oh, that's a bit punky. Oh, I don't know if it's... No, something. that's a bit punky looking. Mm. Let's see what we get. I've got plenty to take off first. Let's see what we get. Okay. I was born in 1953. Yeah, you, you are old. On the first day of November, 1953. What a great day it was too. You know you're old when you click on uh, when you click on something. You have to put your age in, and you have to scroll up about four pages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this might not be any good. Oh, there's the ones that do like something like fifty-four to fifty-nine, or yeah. something, and you and you're going over to the right now. Yeah, exactly. Takes you ages to get there. Now Donna says she was fifteen, <gasps> and Matt 15. said yeah. uh, he was That's three. No good. That's fine don't, enough, don't you start, Glenn. That's no good. That's... Brian, you're older than dust. Older yeah. than dust. Two days older than dust. Ben, ben Jarman says, in 1987, Brian got his bus pass. <laughs> <gasps> Not quite. No, it was eight, it was, I, was it was eight. Serving, I was still a serving soldier. Oh, I've got to find a bit of wood now. Barry Chitty uh, says in 87 he was 40. Barry. There you go, Barry. Boy, you're older than me, Barry. Oh, no, you're not. Not quite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brian Elton here. Hey. 
round of the way. If it's a competition, I was 49. Norman Greenwell says, you're just a bailing friend. 1848, he was born. All right, let's try this. This is a bit of oak. Well, I was born in 1966. Trevor P said 33 wasn't, wasn't a good year. 52 was better. Get out of here, Trevor. Andrew from the OGK Woodworks was nine in 1987. Stephen the Wood Dude says, Is 1953 a natural year? It sounds like a history textbook quote. Oh. Yes, yeah, Stephen. <laughs> Brian Green is in. Good evening, Brian. Uh, oh, evening, Brian. Where have you been? Tony by Barry, 1949. Oh, there's a whole lot of old people in here. It's great. A whole lot of us are retired you, are people. You feel it, are you feeling, you know? Donna was born in 1972. I'm feeling young. God, 1972. I'm feeling young. I think Lynn's drunk now. Colin was born in 1962. Michelle was born in, in 19 something. I'll tell you Michelle's age. Donna says she was 50 last month. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Welcome congratulations. to the club. Oh, you're, just, you're the same age as Steve then. He's only 50. Youngster. Um, Christine and Michael. Joe, I left school in 1966, love. Yeah, brilliant. I left school in 1969. I'm young in mind, but not in body. Yeah, I'm only 26 uh -huh. in my body. In my mind, I'm only 26. Brian Green, turning the ball, Mr. Stark. No. Um, no. Um, Steve's turned... Um, A resin pot. Cast resin. Uh, res yeah, resin. I'll get it out. That's uh, the word. Resin. Box. Box. So this is going to be the lid. Oh, Jesus, Glenn's on the margaritas again. He's on his third one, so that's him <laughs> legless now. That's it, that's ah, he's done. But you want he'll to see the size of the glass? Yeah, he'll be sleeping in a minute. <laughs> no, I, I missed the war. Uh, well, I missed some war. If you're talking about the Second World War, I asked him, I missed that. Only just. <clears throat> And Michelle Ruby says she's still younger than me and you never attended that school thing she's talking about. <laughs> I hated Fair school. Enough. I hated school with a passion. I didn't mind it. There was, there was very, very little um, kindness in school when I went to school. Right. It was different when I went to school. Oh, different. It's mainly ice, Joe. Oh, what a load of rubbish. Yeah, what a load of r rubbish that is. You want to be telling lies there, Mr. Senior. Yeah. You know Pinocchio? That's him. That's the berry boy. Norman Greenwell says, no matter how old you are, it's much, much better than the alternative. Well, I suppose it is, yes. Well, there's no way of getting younger, so the, the only alternative to old is dead. Ooh. So, we don't want none of that yet. Uh, no. Oh. We're all good. Fred Gilliver, 1948. A good, very good year. Ah. Oh, so, Steve, Stephen has the right attitude. As I'm from another planet, well, we knew that, Stephen. <laughs> Age is unimportant there. You're only judged on your wood turning excellence. I've no chance, sir. Yeah, me neither. I'm about four then. No, yeah. three. Three and a half. Let's not be uh, too. Let's not be too hard on ourselves, Steve. Donna says there's four people in her primary class went to jail for murder. Oh, <laughs> Donna, you, no you live near Glasgow. Do you live near Glasgow by any chance, Donna? Oh, 
After all, is the murder capital of the yet. UK? It was at one time, yeah. Oh, there's a daddy long legs in my office. I haven't seen one of them this year. Won't hurt you, Born, don't worry. Let me go and, let me go and pull his wings off. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'll open the window and let it back out. Uh, I'm not going to pull his wings off, it's his legs I'm going to pull off. <laughs> <laughs> go on, yes. Silly big brick, get back out the window. Go on, out. There you go. It's okay, I saved it. What am I looking for? Oh. Ben. What is what is Glenn laughing at now? Uh, I don't know. Benjamin, life is too short. Treat yourself to an SK one one four. I should I should do marketing for Axminster. I'm pretty good, good at it. This is Benjamin. And Donna says she lives in Tullybody near Sterling. Oh, Tullybody near Sterling. Yeah. Very nice. Exactly, that's what I think, Andrew. 10% 10, 10 ice, ice and 90% margarita, yeah, yeah, margarita. Although I do know that um, Glyn lights his ice, I just think the alcohol is far greater. Fred Culver says, uh, age is irrelevant, it's how old you feel when you wake up each morning. Well, I feel okay in the mornings when I wake up, it's not until I try and get out of bed that I'm reminded... <laughs> Ah, oh, so Fred is older than me. Hmm. Ooh. Or uh, Aston is older than me. Should I say. Terry's older than me too, by the way, guys. This Glenn's laughing away to himself in the background. Yes, yeah, Joe. Hashtag Glenn uses a pint glass. I think it's not far off a pint. I've only ever been to Glasgow once. They won't let her back in? Well, near it. Yeah. Cheers for that. <laughs> only just. Fred Goldenfrey is only just, Brian. Yeah, you are indeed, Brian. Well, that's okay. I'm only young in my head. I'm only 26. I don't care what it looks like from your side. And Michelle says, keep it clean, Brian. Clean? I have no idea what you mean by that, Michelle. I'm just keeping it classy there. Dear. Oh, look, Steve's making a funny job. No, he's not. <laughs> yes, he is. Now, what you need to roll a little ball just at the end there, just a small ball. Just where it joins the lid. I think we should start a hashtag, guys. Uh, hashtag Finneo for Steve. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve doesn't like turning Finneos, guys. Did you know? He doesn't like to turn Finneos. Oh. I think we should um, <clears throat> encourage him to turn a Finneo, guys. What do you think? I think my headset's going funny. I can hear this funny noise coming for it. A six, a six-inch Finneo. Yeah. yeah, Andrew says it's good to be a captive ring, Brian. Yeah, well, it takes much more of it. Brian, are those your knees creaking in the background? It's not Joe's, but no, it's, no, it's no, my it's, bird. It's Joe's uh, part, yeah. It's because glenn has gone into the kitchen to top up his glass and she's missing him. All right, Al Likes already? We're both here. Yeah, Douglas the Godwells was a bad area of Glasgow for a long, long time. Particularly in the sixties and seventies, it was a horrendous place. So nice people Steve. in the global stuff. They weren't all bad. Stephen's asking, "What happened to Finial Week?" Well, it might come we along at some point. We you haven't. Never we, haven't know. we actually haven't done it yet. It will happen in due course. Take my word for it. Even though Steve says it's not gonna. <laughs> 
Steve might offer some resistance to the idea. He, he, he may offer some resistance, but it will be futile. Resistance Ooh. is futile. I might be on that's holiday. A, that's, that's a line from a movie, isn't it? Resistance is futile. Jeez. I might I might be on holiday that that month. It's the question for the chat. Which movie is that from? I know that. Oh, I'm sure you do. Well, you know what the who... You didn't have to put your hand up. Nobody can see you except me. <laughs> please, sir. Please, sir. Bonus point. <laughs> Go on, then. What movie was it from? Um, Star Trek First Contact. Oh. Oops. Oshpoid says, uh, hashtag Trembler week is next month. Right? No. Trembler. There will be no Trembler. From Blair. Oh, Star Trek. Yeah, there you Star go. Trek. Yeah. Good dude, the Borg. That's right. Resistance is futile. That obviously can be one of the questions that we answer at the end of the month, Steve. Are you taking notes? Yeah, take What's your up? note, Steve. That's... What questions are? Oh, never. Never mind, Steve. He's concentrating too hard, trying to make a finale. All right. Let's or get us... Star Trek Next Generation, says Colin. Yeah, that was this, um, the team. Yep. That was in first contact. And Bon and uh, Donna says the uh, the, the Godwells can still be a tough area. Yeah, I'm sure it is, buddy. There are places yeah, in I've Edinburgh that I that. wouldn't want to go either. What, the Godwells? Have you not? Oh dear. Well, Google it when you get it time. Why hasn't this and... parrot been trained to sing the Yorkshire <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's a good point, Robert. I, I asked the same question. This parrot's just got a mind of its own. Just like what you don't know, Robert, is there are two parrots there. Uh, and none of the two of them sing. One doesn't do anything and the other one's full of it. One just sits there quietly and the other one squawks like a mad thing. Oh, is he? Have you heard that? Brian's just said you squawk. Oh, she does. She just laughed at that. Douglas Bond says you will be assimilated. Oh. Yeah, that's another one. Sit down before you fall down, uh, STNG's best of both worlds. Oh, okay. Star Trek New Generation. Next Generation. What grit are you doing now then, Steve? I ain't doing any on my... Oh, this is 180. Okay. I thought I was looking are at... We, are we leaving this natural or are we... Uh, um, doing something else? I was going to leave it natural, to be honest. Cool. Excellent. I think that might be a good idea because you've got a lot of <laughs> colour and sparkle with the actual you do. box. Set it off. So, nice. will you be gritting this lid by any chance? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, that's, that's the, there's a possibility of that, Julie. You better gargle there. <laughs> la, 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 la. Big smile. Hey, you guys missed that there. You want to see the huge smile that just came across Joe's face then. When he said, unfortunately. <laughs> and now she's woofing down a cherry. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, Brian. I haven't opened the Jack Daniels yet. Oh, do you not? Save an arm. Don't save it up too long. He'll drink it. That's... Not going to be possible tonight. <laughs> it's not likely. <laughs> he'll be, he's, he'll be oh, asleep in an hour. Yeah. He'll be sleeping. Well, I wouldn't even give him an hour. Ten minutes, maybe. <laughs> we'll be starting to hear the snoring. If Steve's not finished. I don't want any margarita, thank you. It's the worst stuff ever invented. Oh, that's hot. Tea.
Right. Brian with a Y says, Steve, finish that fin- finial off with an angle after parting off. <laughs> Makes it very sexy. Oh, it's got a little bit of a chip out in there. Oh, oh I've not. Yes. Yeah. Right on that edge. I'll oh, do another can't one. Can't you fill oh. it with something? No, I'll, I'll use it for now and I'll do another one tomorrow. And... Yeah, that'll do. Um, what am I looking for? Sand and sea, that's what I'm looking for. So a bit of sand and sea. What have you got? It's the honey <laughs> one, Colin. Bitch, Ben Jammer has just said, I've just watched the new Pres- Resident Evil series on Netflix. Dear Lord, Netflix is pushing out some garbage these days. <laughs> Even on telly, there's nothing on... You know, I mean, I've got Sky Movies. Yeah, it's rubbish. There's nothing on there that I haven't seen already. That's ridiculous. Nope. You think, so what the hell are you paying nope, for? It's not worth having. Exactly. Especially when you when you spend most of your life on YouTube. <coughs> Robert's right. having trouble typing. He says, "Damn, my fingers are fat today." <laughs> All right, so Yorkshire get a grip. Oh, boy, the boy said C A. Don't be stupid, boy. Boy, boy. C A finished. You want Mark to have a heart attack? Couldn't put CA finish on a nice bit of wood. Absolutely not. Just turn the wood into plastic. Oh, right enough. Well, hold on a minute, because it's going into a plastic container. So Donna says, I've just finished watching The Boys. It was good. Is that on Netflix as well, Donna? I don't have Netflix. I'm too mean to pay for it. We have Netflix. I do have Disney Plus and Amazon I Prime. Well. I've only got Netflix because I get it. Something pity can be sweet again, look. Your face. Not even the invitation. Yorkshire gritty. <laughs> Come on, Steve. I said I only got Netflix because I get it free with Sky. All right, I'll get it. That's a whole other debate there, Mr. Gulliver, I have to say. Is CA a finish? No, it's a glue. In actual fact, it's a glue which has been uh, utilised as a finish. In fact, CA originally was a um, medical treatment rather than a glue. Still is in my van. It was just a stick skin together. Still is in my van. Oh, it is, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, me too. Cut your finger, two drops of CA in it, give it a squeeze, fine. CA, any stitches. That's the CA that don't hurt. That's the activator that hurts. Yeah, you can, yeah. Glenn stuck my finger together with glue. Oh, it's easy to stick your fingers together with CA. I do it all the time. Yeah, he was, he was aiming for your, he was aiming for your lips, so Joe. He missed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cut, I cut my finger on a can, so I glued, oh. glued it. Great, right? Yep. So where you go? You did right. know that you were on the list, don't you, Steve? You know you're on the list. Oh, yeah, most sure. Steve, are you, are you on the list, Steve? Most oh, sure. That's terrible. Um, what am I going to finish out with? I'll just... It <laughs> 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 cracks me up every time you laugh. It's funny. What? They got her, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. So, what are you going to do with your chip? Oh, I'm going to turn a new lid tomorrow. I'll get it finished so people can see it, and I'll, t- I'll turn a new lid tomorrow. Oh, my wax is a bit soft. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit, it's a bit gungy. Yeah. Carefully don't use too much for that. So yep, you're is... absolutely right. Um, Chase, CA is perfect for cuts. It does. It works a treat. So if, particularly if it's a nice clean one, you just stick it together. No bother at all. Not so, not so good and raggedy ones. Can you remember the old new skin? Yep. I still got spray it on, yeah. No, I've got the one I've got is um, in a little bottle with like a dabber. Oh, yeah, paint on, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Don't says, Glenn, be careful there. You could do yourself some damage <laughs> with all them big belly laps. Let's quickly buff this up. 
Look at that. Nice. So there's a bit of microcrystalline. Um, chestnut products, microcrystalline wax. Well, Roy the boy says his Yorkshire grit is melted. Yeah, put it in the fridge, mate. Put, nice. it in, put it in the fridge, boy. Throw it in the fridge. Move the fish. Have you not got a beer? Have you not got a beer fridge in your workshop? <sighs> Sad. It's terrible. Right, <laughs> so get this parted off. I can find my parting tool. Ooh. Uh, Donna says, uh, "Well, guess what I'm going to be binge watching now." And there's only two, there's only two hundred and thirty videos on my channel. It'll not take you long, Donna. I've got one or two you can watch. If you want. <laughs> he also says, "Have you seen the padding on my belly?" Yeah, we have, Glenn. Yeah, <laughs> didn't really want to see it, but we did. <laughs> the reach for the mind bleach after I did. All right, so I'm not going to worry about the inside because obviously I'm going to turn a new lid, but we've got a bit of part off. So, there. What's the time? Have we got time to just to quickly polish a bit of this? It's, uh, it's 9.20. Yeah, go for it. Um, sure. You're all right. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. If you want to polish up, you polish up. We've got 57 still watching, so we're all having fun here. I don't, yeah, I don't want to bore people. <laughs> we do, Tess. She is great for cuts of... But never use it on a nosebleed. <laughs> that could hurt. Yeah, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't be a good idea. That's just so, ending on Glenn's account. Nope. <laughs> right, so... <gasps> the... Uh, Douglas Mongus says, what is your regret anyway? Ooh, Douglas. Oh, Douglas. The nice Douglas. Right, so this is the Chestnut Products... Um, Buffing wheel system. Yeah, buffing wheel system. So three mops, A, B, C. And three, three pace. So the first one is a brown compound. Which is what? Well, I think it's a cutting compound, isn't it? It's a cutting compound called Triple E. Some people call it Triple E, but it's actually Triple E. So I normally go both ways. So both like directions, that. yeah. And then I'll do it once or twice like this, and I'll go the other way. You want you want to uh, zoom that camera out just a fraction, Steve? Can't really see the piece there. That's better. That's a bit better, yeah. There's a lot. Uh, Donna says, uh, "Hodgepodge, I was talking about something on Amazon Prime." And what was the something you were talking about on Amazon Prime, Donna? Enlighten us all. Seem to have missed it. Uh, Douglas is saying he doesn't uh, have a microphone. <gasps> Why not? That's it. That's it. It is triple E, not triple E, as some people call it. Paul Finley Wootering Home says Stranger Things on Netflix is good to watch. I haven't got Netflix. Well, can't watch it. But there's a hint for everybody else who has it. Uh, Robert says a show called Upload is worth watching, he thinks. So now go that way. Upload. Without grabbing it out of your hands. Yeah, you got to watch when you've got an edge that doesn't catch it. Eh? I'll go that way, actually. Yeah. Be there. Just rip it clear out of your hand. What speed are you running that at, Steve? This is running about, uh, about 900 RPM. And around a thousand revs is usually good, eh? Yeah. Aston says that's a good show. Robert. This upload program, I can't, I can't watch, I haven't got that. Oh no, where is that? Where is, she said it was? Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. Upload. Okay, I'll have a look at that. I've got that. <sighs> No, it isn't, um, Douglas. The microphone is up, is up to 2,000 grit. The original right. Yorkshire grit is 1,000. Ooh. 
Oh, he's David. I don't fancy getting Netflix. It's what visit my youngest brother was for. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. All right, so that back up to sixty-eight people watching, sixty-nine people watching. So that's just cut that. So it's got rid of any little imperfections that was there. So now we're going to do. It's good. The next one, which is uh, Buffman. And then the final one is Canuba Wax. The next one is White Diamond, which is which is a which is basically a cutting wax as well. It's just a much much finer cutting wax. So cutting compound. White one. White Diamond. It's called. Ian Cook has joined us. Um, uh, Colin. Colin suggests. Sorry. Who was that? Ian Cook. Hi, Ian. Yeah. Hi, Ian. Any tips on sharpening skew on the Pro Edge? Got new skew, but yep. can't get a decent grind on it. Uh, Ian, if you, you use the yeah, grid. Uh, are you in your workshop tomorrow? If you're in your workshop tomorrow, mate, give me a shout on YouTube and I'll talk on um, Messenger one of those. and I'll talk you through it so and one, show you it. One of those. Yep. So next time you're in your workshop, give me a shout and I'll talk you through it, Ian. I'll show you how to do it on mine. The question I was going to ask, because I don't really know the answer, Colin says, can you use Yorkshire grit on a buffing wheel? I um, have a feeling Glim might be answering as we speak. I, I wouldn't use it on, on, the, on, the, on that three wheel system, because they're kind of designed for one thing at a time. But certainly I have used it with a, like a, a polishing mop thing. For doing the inside of bowls, um, that you can just stick into your drill. You could use it with that. Uh, question, question, question. Now, if I haven't seen the usual earworms plugging their next videos, may I shamefully request a plug, please? Aston, uh, what's your plug? What do you want to plug, son? Have you got a video coming up? Let me go to your channel and find out. Da, 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 da. Uh, Glenn said that I Colin is too that. loose. Yeah. I, I've used it, as I say, on a, on a sort of buffing pad on the inside of a bowl where it can't really escape. Slow down, Glenn. Very Slow down. Yep, Aston's got a premiere coming up. Let's have a look at that. Uh, copy that. Here you go, Aston. Paste. There's a link there for it's for Aston's next premiere. And if I have a look at that, he's oh, close that. It says an oak barrel bowl. It premieres in 20 hours. So if you want to see uh, Aston turning a bow, it's good turning number 19 oak bottle bow or bar bow for the English amongst us. We call it a bar, Aston. You guys call it a bottle for whatever reason, just to be different, I suppose. And Aston's got 147 subscribers, guys. If you want to um, nip over to that channel, have a look at his uh, video and Show him some love and, and subscribe to his channel as well. I've subscribed. Cool. How much do these buffing wheels cost? Uh, uh, that set is about 90 quid. Ish. Yeah. It comes as a kit and you get the mandrel. There's a small mandrel that Steve has got there. And there's another little one that you can attach to a drill. And you get the three wheels, the three blocks of paste. Uh, is there something else, Steve? 
Yeah, you get a pair of pirate star in yeah. the bottom of the box. Yeah, and I think that's all that's in the box. Is the three yeah. buffing bills, the three compounds, the the big mandrel for in there that's held in the chuck, and a small mandrel for on, in a drill. Is that canuba wax that you've just... Canuba wax, yeah. Yeah. That's the... The canuba wax is the hard wax stick. Well done, Joe. There's Aston's link there, guys. Oh, and Roy the boy says, come on, Brian, it's 12 99 Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oops. And Aston says, uh, thanks, Brian. I'm super happy with this one. Oh, that's good. We'll have a look at it tomorrow when it premieres. I might have told you what time it was on, eh? Oh. Seven o'clock is 20 hours. Well, that's true. In 20 hours and 20 hours, right? 20 hours from now. Oops. I've just managed to navigate away from Steve's channel. I better navigate my way back again. Stephen says, I was told I off by Doug Miller for not making YouTube videos. So no yes. premiere from me this weekend. For goodness sake. Um, I need a buffing cloth now. Oh, the only trouble with that buffing wheel is you get all little fluffy bits come off of it. Stringy bits come off it, yeah. Um, Terry, uh, did you, uh, Terry made me do mine with sandpaper. Just rub the edge of it with, with about 80 gauge sandpaper. All right. And that pulls a whole lot of them off. When I got, when I got it new, he says, oh, that buffing wheel's terrible. Stick some 80 grit on it. Yeah. Now, whether he was winding me up or not, <laughs> you know what Terry's like. No, it's over. But it worked. Well. I don't get so many. I don't get so many stringy bits coming off it now, I have to say. All right. A Synt Wood Studio has come in. That's uh, Derek. That's, that's Derek. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Mark's, Mark's body, Derek. All right, Derek. Okay. All right, let's just put these away. Why is this not working now? It's rather hub this on YouTube or on my iPad. So Ben's got a, a question for yeah. us, Steve. Would the first wheel have removed what you achieved with the T-cut? No, because with the T-cut, there was still some little tiny, fine... If you held it in the light... See, the thing is, you can't, when you look on the camera, you can't see them. But when I hold them to the light, you can just see the little tiny line. You can just see little tiny, odd little tiny line in it. Yep. But the first one just takes it past that to give you a perfectly smooth finish. But I say, okay. you can't see it. Oh, through the camera, you can't see it. But when you when you get the light on it, you can just, you could just see the little, the odd little tiny line in it. But oh, that, that's lovely, that, Steve. Look at it. That has cleaned it up nicely. So uh, let's just get a, a, yeah, something to put it on as a pedestal. That'll do. One I made earlier. <laughs> so there it is. Oh, I might Did be you make that. one earlier? I must have missed that. <laughs> so, there you go. Nice little. Really nice. What I'll do is I'll make another lid for it because it's got a little bit of nick out of it there. So I'll make another lid. Just a lot of it, yeah. Well, it was a bit punky, you said, to start with. So. Yeah, well, I did change it to a bit of oak, and even that's not the best bit. Oh, yeah, okay. That was the bit I had chucked under the lathe, but... Oh, I've got to take a smock oh. off. I'm sweating my guts out. Oh, you poor soul. Right, so... Nice it's little... Mendel's the trick. It's lovely. Nice it's little it. resin pot. Yep. Looks really nice, mate. Thanks. Thanks. Good comments really coming does. in about it, too. <laughs> Derek says, just kidding, he's a lovely guy, really. Who's Hope that? He's not in here. 
Who's that? He's, ta he's talking about Mark. <laughs> no, he's gone because he's Mark's gone because we all took the bit mick out of him. <laughs> yeah, some somebody mentioned black and yellow again. Oh. He'd be sulking now. He's he'd, be at tonight, so. he'd be he'd be crying on Kim's shoulder now. He'd be crying into his beer. They keep on about black Barry, and yellow. Very nice, excellent piece. Excellent piece, yeah, Barry. Damn, Thank that's you. nice. Stunner like says the Aston. The James Webb telescope. Stunner. It does a bit, yeah. It does a bit. Yeah, What's that? What was that comment? Uh, Susie's. It looks a bit like the photographs from the James Webb, the uh, James Webb telescope. Telescope. All oh, right. The James Webb telescope is kind of taking over the Hubble. Right. Okay. And clearer pictures and what have you. It's you know next step sort of thing. Absolutely. Susie's stunning. saying lovely box and lid. Maybe the second lid could be a. Shiny black as a contrast question mark. Oops. That's, a... That's what I said. Yeah, you did. You did say. I totally agree. But, um, yeah, possible. I might spray that one black and see what it looks like first before I make another one. Uh, you could always, if you're going to spray it black, you could always cheat and just put a bit of um, uh, glue in. Fill that wee gap. Fill that wee hole. Yeah, could Terry you know, spray it black. Hi, Terry. Oh, Terry. Evening all. Evening, Terry. How are you? Turners. Evening. That's quite nice. You're about, about late, nearly finished. I do like the. What, you mean those? Those. Uh, they are a bit messy when you get them out the out the tubs. But I mean, I've made three blanks now, and you've used hardly any yep. out of the tublet. That's that's the bet you have left over. Yeah. No, no, no. This is this is how you buy it. Gold leaf. They're gold leaf. All right. Flakes. Okay. All right. Okay. So you get the three. Right. I think yeah, the three colours was about. 20 quid, I think, for the free guys. Maybe oh, that's it. Right. But I've made three blanks out of that, and that's all what's gone out of the tub. Look. All right. So there's loads of it. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Cool. So I made. Night all the... from Plymouth Wood <laughs> <laughs> So I made the one that Joe's got. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah. That's then, beautiful, is that? Then I made an egg for someone else, and now that pot. So it's nice. I like that. Very good, isn't it? Excellent. So, Excellent. 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 No. <laughs> right, let's bring you guys back. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Don't do that. <sighs> My picture's got very bright. Must be this nice, clean white shirt on man. Uh, right. So we've got some real nice, uh, real nice comments in there, Thank Steve. Very much. Terry, Terry Butler says, I'm just done from a club night. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, for, we'll let you yeah, off. Yeah, oh, but all went well, Terry. Glenn said. Glenn said, Steve, you listening? Glenn says, great work. Oh, Steve. thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. It's nice to see you in the chat. <laughs> for, for a change. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I can have a feeling Glenn's going to get some abuse for the next few days. <laughs> no. It's nice to um it's nice to Oh yeah, he's coming over here. Oh yeah, he's coming over yeah. here. It's nice to uh it's nice to have I'm picking him up at the airport. So moment. many uh nice comments. Thank you very much everybody. So get rid of that blue roll, put that one in there. See this is a cheap and nasty toilet roll, uh kitchen roll I bought from B and M. Absolutely useless. Don't buy it. Oh I know. So it's yeah. it's useless, it's so thin. But anyway. Right. So I did the same thing. Sacked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you very much for everybody coming over um, as Brian mentioned earlier if you haven't already and you would like to buy a Makers t-shirt the link is at the top of the chat um, all proceeds are going to this year's charity which is Dementia UK um, I had a lovely conversation with a lady from Dementia UK today um, and hopefully within the next few weeks I'm going to get a video up I've asked her to do a short clip of um, Dementia UK is all about basically. So hopefully I'm gonna get that added to the promo video so you guys can see exactly what because I don't think everybody knows what Dementia UK do. Um I think people think it's to find a cure. Um unfortunately it's not. It's more about the support network for the families and loved ones of the patient. So um they, they spend a lot of time trying to get families together that are far apart and trying to get things in place where uh, loved ones can still be at home as long as possible with the support 
rather than being stuck in care homes. And we all know what care homes are like. Nobody gets the true attention they deserve in a care home. Um, so, yeah, that's what it's all about. So hopefully in the next few weeks, hopefully by the end of the month, that's my aim, end of the month, we'll get some more information on it. And uh, we'll go from there. So great stuff. All, go, all systems go. Um, oh, tr- Terry said his T-shirt arrived today. Good man. Thank you very much, Terry. I think I checked the, I, yeah, I checked the other night. I think at the moment we've done about $129 in profit, um, which is what's that? Oh, that's about good. 20 quid in cash, UK money. So, yeah, that's very, very so good. So that's all through you guys buying so, your T-shirts. Um, so, yeah, that's the money that's going to go to this year's charity. So, um, uh, uh, if any of you are coming to Harrogate, you need to be willing to make your T-shirt. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, don't forget to buy yes, one. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Harrogate makers T-shirts on. Yeah, get your T-shirt. Uh, and uh, Glenn, uh, apparently, uh, some one of us is psyched. Steve. Me, I think. But Glenn, yeah, it's either <laughs> you or me from my cheek. But Glenn, no, knows, Glenn, we'll Glenn knows I love him. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Glenn. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right, with that, I'm going. Right. <laughs> so before we finish, Ian Cook. Nice little, Ian Cook made a good suggestion there. He says that would make a very nice um, uh, soap pump. Yeah. I wonder could you do that? Get this cap, make a cap to fit the, the soap pump. You know where it comes. They actually do. Look at that. Chloe actually, Chloe oh, actually bought the other day thing. a stone one with a the lid, the the pump bit just sits in the top, very similar to that. All right, that's ideal. That would be ideal. So then, I might nick it? a pump thing and see if it fits. I wonder can we buy the little pump things anyway. Good idea. But anyway, nice little resin pot. I will I, yep. I will have a spray of that lid tomorrow and see if it looks better in black um, and see what happens. It will. It will, will it? Well, it will, yeah. Um, and if I, if, yeah, might, if yeah. I do spray it black, I'm not going to make... I'm no, not, I'll just it repair that. Put a little bit of super glue or something in there and repair that rather than making a new one. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, no, I like that. Enjoy it. I'll, um, as always, I'll, once I've tidied up, I'll get some pictures on social media So because the, the, the webcams never do it justice. And uh, obviously, we'll get some better pictures of it. So, other than that, thanks, guys, for coming and joining us. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Brian, for being my worms. Uh, I think keep the chat entertained. Welcome. Thank you to all you guys. Um, come to thanks to you guys for continuous coming over and support us. Really do appreciate it. Um, as I always say, without you guys, um, the channel we worth having. So, thank you very much for your support. With that, I will see you Sunday lunchtime. Um, Wayne is on tomorrow yep. night 8pm I believe um, so don't right. forget next Friday we have Martin Sabian Smith on um, Joe will be here, Brian might be here, might not be here but uh, uh, we'll see, see. Um, hope, so I hope we'll be there uh, so Martin's going to come in and join us and then the following then Saturday I'm on the Virtual Crafty Festival uh, 6 till 7 um, I will be putting the link up for that during the week. Um, I think some people have already got their links up. So if you want to check out who's on, go across to the Virtual Crafty uh, website. That's, that's, that's the 20, 23rd. That's the 29th, 23rd. Isn't it? 23rd. 23rd. Oh, 23rd. Okay. 29th is Battle of the Makers. All right. So that's... Right. Um, so, yeah. So if you want to if you want to know who's on the listing, to who's on, go over to the Virtual Crafty YouTube channel. And the listing will be up there so you can see. Uh, if you want to be in the workshop while it's on all day, just click on the uh, playlist and it will play them continuously through as they uh, come up. Um, obviously, they're near one hour slots, so they're not going to be massive projects, but it's always well worth and entertaining. So um, thank you to Jamie and Carl for inviting me back. And uh, I look forward to it. And then we'll be back on the following Sunday as well. So free lives next weekend. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> I might get something done. <laughs> I, I hope to be back on Monday night if I get my internet sorted tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Of course, I behave tonight perfectly. It's it's perfect tonight. I think it's, it's just not reliable enough. I think that's the old boy who wired up the workshop, I do, personally. But... Oh, do you think? Okay. <laughs> that would be me then. Oh, what, was it? what did you do? Did you wind up? <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if there's anybody covering uh, Terry, um, but we'll just wait and see. I thought, yeah, Pete's is, on. He's on, on Monday, is he? But we'll we'll uh, Monday, we'll yeah. um um we'll uh, remind you on put the links up. Yeah, on me Sunday. and Nick will put the little Nick will put the links up. Put links up. So anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy yeah. this heat if you're in the UK. Make sure you keep in the shade. Don't go and get burnt and don't get dehydrated. Look after yourselves. Other than that, I'll see you Sunday.
So thanks for coming over. Take care. And it's good night from me. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. Thanks for coming over. Bye. That's all, folks.